people, this is Bring It Muscle Cars and I'm Quinn. Today we have another installment of Wash Wednesday. Today we're specifically dealing with wheel cleaners. We have the Ethos Cleaner 2-in-1 Iron Decontaminator and Wheel Cleaner. This product performed absolutely amazingly. If you saw our video at, on Jared's G8, this thing took off all the brake dust after he did Drag Week, which is like pretty much the ultimate test. On the left hand side, the driver's side of the vehicle, we have a new Sonax product. Now we love Sonax in the past, they performed really well in all of our videos, but this one's called the Beast. It's acid free, but let's see if it actually performs better than its little brother. So to keep things scientific and to keep things equal and unbiased, we're only applying these wheels to the front of the car. Both are equally dirty. Um, we're gonna apply the Ethos to the passenger side and the Sonax Beast to the driver's side. Both of these require a dry application. We're gonna do that now and they take about two to three minutes to settle in and do the work that they're supposed to do. So let's go quickly with the Ethos on the passenger side. As you can see here, this wheel is pretty messed up. This is more than, uh, more than your normal brake dust you'd see, but it makes for an absolutely awesome test for these products. So we're gonna spray liberally all along the wheel and just so you guys know this wheel is not supposed to be black it's actually a silver wheel it's not plasti dipped or anything even though it looks like it is that's just all brake dust so we're going to get in all the nooks and crannies here luckily this is a nice wheel to uh, try this on there's not a whole lot of nooks and crannies it's just a five spoke the one thing I will say about the Ethos, this is the second time I've used this product, it, the, the provided spray nozzle doesn't give you much diffusion, it's kind of very direct, and yes, I've tried the other option, it makes it even worse, so I kind of like a product that kind of spreads out a little bit and has more coverage. Let's go to the other side and try out the Beast. Here we have the Beast product. As you can see, the wheel is very similarly contaminated with brake dust and, uh, and iron and all types of schmoo on there. Uh, the one thing I will say about the Beast is it only has an on-off sprayer. Um, there's no option to have a more direct stream or a more diffused stream. So let's see how it performs. Now if you notice right off the bat, this stream definitely does fan out a little bit better. Gives you more coverage. Now instantaneously the thing that I'm noticing is that there's a lot less color changing action but look how quickly I was able to coat that wheel. It's a lot quicker than the Ethos brand over there. So we're gonna let these wheels sit for about two to three minutes as they recommend on the bottle per the user instructions. And we're gonna come back here in a second and wash them off and we can get a comparison on how both products performed. So um, two points of interest with these two products. The Ethos, and now this is all uh, subjective, is that the Ethos product smells better, in my opinion. Um, the Sonax has a little bit more of a chemical scent to it. Obviously, it's outside the car. Does it really matter that much? No. But it's a nice little added flavor to these products. The second thing I'd like to mention is that the Sonax explicitly says acid-free. Um, it doesn't say anything about the pH value, but if you're concerned about that, it's nice to know that this is an acid-free uh, product. Now, conversely, the Ethos product, all it does is it say it has a neutral pH. Now, an acid, obviously, is not a neutral pH. So they don't say that it's acid-free, though, which is interesting. Um, as we saw, there, there definitely was a quicker chemical reaction of oxidation on the iron on the, on the, and, and brake dust on that wheel. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of, make of that, but I thought it was kind of interesting that they labeled their um, lack of acid in uh, these products a little bit differently. Uh, maybe I'm reading into it too much, but I think it's just something important to note. Okay guys, so here is the um, result of spraying the Ethos wheel cleaner and iron decontaminator on the wheel. It's got a really dark color. It's a little dark out this evening, but it definitely has a darker color to it than the, um, the Sonax Beast. 
Uh, is that good or bad? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's go compare it to the other side. Now, as you can see here, the Beast product had, uh, it finally did turn purple. It took a little bit longer to uh, perform that chemical reaction, but it's got a bit of a lighter color. We're gonna wash both these wheels off and see which product performed the best. So this is the Ethos side. Let's spray it off and see how this product performed. I'd say that performed just like last time, excellently. I mean, this is one of the nicest products that we've used so far. Now let's go to the Beast and see how it compares. did an excellent job as well. As you can see, there is a little bit of streaking here. Um, I think that was left over from our last, uh, last. well, we, we tried, what, the armor all, and it left some streaks on there. I think that basically just left some heavier dirt deposits on there. But, I mean, I, it, it performed amazingly as well. Um, as you can see, it took majority of the dirt off. There's only a little bit on there. And, you know, it, these things were completely black beforehand, so obviously just to have a, an overall silver wheel after this is, uh, is, 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 is great on uh, respect of both products. So if you guys notice, I did not use a brush or anything like that. We've really wanted to take that equation out of this video so that you could see just how powerful each product was without any type of external variable. So I honestly think both performed extremely, extremely well. Um, I think as, on a future video what we should do is we should um, do the original Sonax versus the Beast and see if you pay a little bit more for the Beast, if that's worth your time and time and your money. But overall, both these project, uh, products performed, I mean, flawlessly. Pretty much what you would expect from a uh, top-notch wheel cleaner. Um, so yeah, let's do a double check and see opinions back over here. I still wager that the Ethos performed better. I mean, yeah, it, the wheel looked cleaner, but was it cleaner to begin with? That's a great question. I mean, so. th it did not look cleaner to begin with. This no, one actually but, looked dirty. But the stuff that was caked on, was it caked on less before well, both, and then added more stuff at to the it. end of our last video we used the ethos product on both wheels yeah so they but sh you it didn't should use be a, a brush did you no but it should exactly. be a fairly reasonable baseline same application type no brush so yeah guys that's the beast and ethos that's a big bottle yeah let's how yeah. much was each bottle um well we we this one that's I wanna like 26 and that's like 16. yeah but this is 33. Yeah, you get this twice is as much, yeah. More than twice. This is much. twice as much. So just about twice. No, yeah, more than more. twice as much. It is more. By like <laughs> point. It's like so by 1.8 fluid ounces. Anyway, so yeah, the prices are very comparable when you look at the volume. Um, All right, sign us off. Yeah, let's sign us off. This is both products perform amazing. You cannot go wrong with the Ethos Y1 complain about this is the spray nozzle obviously these all these spray nozzles, nozzles are interchangeable um, you can get ones that spray nicer I think the Sonax is a nicer nozzle it's easier to use the bottles nicer it's easier to spray on it performed really well but just based on my personal opinion I think the ethos is still performing better I, I really like this product. I think it's one of the best products we've ever reviewed here on Bring It Muscle Cars. So let us know. How about if you guys go out and grab some of these or if you, if you have some other wheel cleaners, um, iron X's, decontaminators, let us know in the comments below because we're always willing to try out new products uh, to help you guys, our viewers, which, you know, we appreciate all you guys. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Matt, really? What? 
smash the notification bell, and as always, if you have a fast car, if you have a clean car, if you have clean wheels, shining wheels, you better bring it. Thanks for watching.